Today I'm going to be showing you how I upgrade to version 13 in Foundry step by step. In this video I'll be showing you the process from beginning to end on how I get version 13. I'm actually going a little bit blind while I make this video so let's get excited for some mess ups here. And if you want to know if version 13 is worth it check out my video here that I talk about version 13 and give it a thorough look see just in case you're wondering if it's worth upgrading. Remember to like and subscribe if you like this sort of content let's go ahead and get started the first thing you want to do is make a backup now i use molten hosting so, so they have their own automatic backup system but i'm going to show you how to do it as self-hosting as well molten hosting actually automatically backs up every night in the elite tier but i'm going to make a manual backup just in case let's go ahead and call it pre-version 13. if you're using another hosting provider they probably have their own backup methods and if you're self-hosting or doing it from your computer let me show you what you need to do to back up if you're self-hosting there is a little manage backup button on the top right here where you can create a snapshot call it pre version 13 for example as it basically just backs up your entire foundry system including the version number now the proper way to upgrade to version 13 in molten hosting is to hit this button right here but i'm not going to do that right now let's check foundry first real quickly and make sure all the modules that i want are in version 13 so we're going to click on upgrade and preview compatibility it's going to give us a bit of a uh, tutorial which you can read on your own if you wish but the important part here is to check to see which modules are compatible and which are incompatible. So let's go ahead and go to the incompatible tab at the top here. Now there's a few modules I'm going to miss like PF2 graphics and Molinet, but that's fine for the most part. Some sacrifices are going to have to be made whenever you upgrade to version 13. If you want the shiny new doodads, especially the Pathfinder new version that has the Shining Kingdom content, which is a shiny new doodad at the end of the day. I also recommend you check the unverified list because some of these modules may work and some of these may not. If there's a module from that list that you really want to make sure 100% works for version 13, I recommend you wait to upgrade. I think I can live without some of these modules. Oh, maybe. Oh, geez. I guess it's time to trim some module bloat. As part of this upgrade process, I will be removing quite a few modules just to make my foundry a little smoother running. Speaking of, check my lag video here to make sure your foundry is running buttery smooth. I'm going to go ahead and start removing some of the modules I know I'm not going to want for version 13. So I'm going to write them down on a piece of paper and start removing them little by little. I went ahead and just went through my unverified and incompatible and start removing the ones that I didn't think I was gonna need for version 13. I did keep some of the incompatible ones in case they do eventually get upgraded and I did remove some of the compatible ones that I no longer use. Overall, this is the most tedious part of the process and this is the first step because we're gonna have to do this again once we upgrade on the modules that actually don't work even if they say they do. All right. I think it's time to hit the button. Okay, oh god, oh god, oh god, upgrade. Oh my god. And then I have to stop and restart my server. And if you're self-hosting, uninstall the previous version and then just get the recommended release 13.345 from the Foundry VTT website. And we're just gonna see Foundry version 13 live and ready to go. Now remember, if this doesn't work out the way you want, you made a backup, right? Like I told you to, right? All right, I've updated. Let's see what's going on. Oh my, there's a lot of yellows here, which means we're gonna have to update some other stuff. Let's go to an update Pathfinder 2nd edition, as well as D&D if you have it. And we're going to just update all these outdated modules one by one or just by clicking on update all. And we're just going to click on yes on everything or install dependency automatically on everything. This update's going to take a while, but it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the fact that Molten Hosting is an amazing provider and lets me update so easily and back up so easily. Molten Hosting is today's sponsor, and I want to show you why I choose Molten Hosting above everything else. I've tried every single hosting provider out there, and I've self-hosted, and I even bought a server in flipping Germany. And honestly, none of them compare to the service and reliability Molten 
Captain Hostin has given me as a professional GM over these last couple of years. This might be a sponsored segment, but I'm personally vouching for Molten Hosting. And today, you even have a coupon code for Molten Hosting to get a free month off. That's right. You type in the coupon code Lunatic Dice and you'll get a free month off your Molten Hosting so you can try them out and see how reliable they are. I'm personally very happy with their service and I reached out to them so they can sponsor me. I've never even personally noticed any lag or any server issues whatsoever. It's been extremely stable and I'm very happy with their service. If you're struggling with other hosting providers or even self-hosting, I highly recommend you give Molten Hosting a shot. They've been an amazing service provider for me personally and I wouldn't recommend them on a whim. Oh, it looks like we're almost done. All right, whatever needed to be updated has been updated. So let's go ahead and try out a game world and see how it works. I got to run Curse of the Crimson Throne today, so let's do that. Make sure you begin the migration whenever you at whenever it asks you to do it. Looks like it's ready to go. Obviously, the first thing I'm noticing is the new UI. And yes, it's going to run the system migration. Make sure you let this run and don't shut down your server while it's doing so. You can press OK here and let's see how we're doing. Let's find the scenes right where I left them about to TPK. Now, one thing you are going to notice is that all the modules are going to be disabled. Here comes a tedious part of enabling all modules, but also making sure that none of the modules break. This might take a while. All right, what I'm going to do is enable all the ones with green and the ones I need specific for this AP and just see how that works right now. All right. The first thing I'm noticing is there's a bit of a theme issue. So I'm going to go to Doraco UI and fix that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and set up. I'm already noticing a few bugs and it's gonna be a little janky but i've decided to go through with this it's gonna get a Duraco for now and see if that works a little better the good news is it does seem to maintain my settings from v12 which i'm really happy with although there's gonna be a lot of modules i'm gonna have to go back in and retweak some settings anyway i'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time and enable the yellow modules one by one and make sure they work properly so let's do that and i'll see you on the other side so some of the modules actually do surprisingly work in version 13 even if they have yellow so don't discard the yellow modules just yet all right the biggest thing i had to redo was some settings with tool belt and workbench as well so just keep that in mind if you're playing pathfinder because this issue i'm having right now is force client settings isn't working great so hopefully they update that surprisingly some of the monks modules do work especially monks token bar so i'm really happy that's updated to version 13 as well overall i would say this was relatively painless especially compared to earlier versions I had to upgrade. I'm gonna give it a shot tonight on my actual game and see what bugs are gonna show up or whatever it is. Cause I know in live play, there's gonna be stuff that I'm just gonna be like, oh my God, that's not working. But I can't right now without actually playing, I'm not gonna be able to see what's gonna happen. So maybe stay tuned for that video in case there's bugs you need. I need to fix, but probably not. Uh, my next video is probably gonna be something about uh, the top modules for version 13, maybe? Why not? Let's do that. Like and subscribe, click on the video on the right. Have a good day.